Guys, this is Desmos Marvel Slide Challenge number 25. Our goal is to get all these marbles to hit all of these stars. I think if we mimic the shape these stars make, which would be a parabola going this direction, then maybe we'll be able to hit all the stars. When we're working with parabolas as functions, we'd have y equals x squared, and it's going upwards like this. But we want to turn this parabola on its side, so we're going to make it x equals y squared. We can see if we hit launch, it's going to miss these stars here. We need to make our parabola wider. We want to put a multiplier in front of here. Anything less than one will make it wider. So we try 0.6. That's not wide enough. Let's do 0.3. That looks pretty good. Let's hit launch. Perfect. So now all we need to do is take a bite out of it right here. That'll make it go down here, fall through the hole, and then hit all of these. First, let's find this circle. So the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So in this case, our radius is 1. I want to move this circle to the right. It looks like 4. So to do that, I'm going to go inside with the x and hit minus 4. I also want to move it up 4. So inside with the y here, we're going to say minus 4. And now we're right on top of that. So obviously, if we hit launch right now, it's just going to get stuck on that circle. There is a way to use this blue circle to take a bite out of this red parabola. If we use squiggle brackets, insert the circle into the squiggle brackets, and then if we make this greater than, it's going to include everything outside of the circle, and then everything inside of the circle gets cut. So that's what makes our bite. So now if we hit launch, hopefully it'll hit all of our stars. And it doesn't, but that's okay. We can just make the circle a little bit bigger. We'll go inside here, find our circle. Let's make the radius a little bit larger than one. Let's change the one into a two. That might be enough. And it was success. How exciting.